We're doing a Cowboys mock draft with trades for you guys today. Now, I explored moving up, moving down, and pretty much every single round trying to figure out what would make my team the best. I think I crushed it. I think I made the Cowboys better, and it's really not that hard when you abuse the draft sims in the end. So first up, round one. Some notable picks who were off the board before I tried to... I, I thought of moving up, but Chris Olave and Tyler Linderbaum and Drake Lennon were the only receivers, interior offensive linemen, who were gone that I was worried about not getting. So I've got a bunch of guys on the board, Traylon Burks, Zion Johnson, and Kenyon Green. I got three guys I like, so I actually took, took a trade down here. The Chiefs called and said, hey, and this is, this is me being awesome, hey, we will give you our earlier second uh, for your first, and then you know we'll, we'll get a, a first back as well, and you'll give us your third round pick back. That's what they offered me. I countered with, you know what? You're going to give me your later second round pick, number 62. I'm going to keep my third, and you can have my fourth round pick. And they said yes. So I fleeced Kansas City off the top here. And this is why I like moving down more than I like moving up in the draft. I just got an extra top 62 pick in exchange for a fourth rounder and moving down five spots in round one. That's a steal, baby. I love that idea. So which would you prefer to do in round one? Type U for you want to trade up. Or type D for you would rather trade down. Now, I had assumed the Chiefs were going up for a receiver. They went up for a corner. Kair Elam off the board here. The Texans at 25. They then take a safety in Daxton Hill. N'Kobe Dean, I was worried about Tennessee sniping one of my guards. They didn't. They took linebacker Dean. The Bucs went quarterback. I did miss out on Traylon Burks. That's okay. I got a guy I was considering at 24. That is Zion Johnson, the offensive guard out of Boston College. Left guard, a plug-and-play starter, is the number one need right now for this organization. I've got to find somebody. I don't have a starter right now. So in this particular mock draft, I moved down and still got my guy in round one. I'd have been happy with Alave or London or Johnson or Burks and Green. I gambled that one of those guys would still be there. And I was right. I don't know if the Cowboys would make that, that, that risk, that gamble in real life, but I did. And I'm getting a plug-and-play guard right away. Zion Johnson was impressive at Boston College for being a former Davidson transfer. Better athlete than Kenyon Green, who we mocked last time, but we're going to mix it up, keep things there. We haven't talked that much about Zion Johnson in the past. I would be pleased if he is the pick in round one, because I'm getting a good football player who will come in in my top 32 and fills a significant need. That is doing the draft right. Others who were on the board, Kenyon Green was there. You know, beyond that, Trent McDuffie was there. Jahan Dotson, David Ajabo, Jaquan Brisker was one of the next picks, actually. That's why I put him on there. But it wasn't the right option for me in the end. That that was not the the, the route that I wanted to go for the Dallas Cowboys. So I, I was going green, or I was going guard, and I got one there. So what do you think? Who do you think the Cowboys will take in round one? There's a lot of options, and I want to hear from you. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. The next five picks, and I, I was trying to move up here. Because I saw the receivers and the edges both began to go, and I got spooked that my guy wasn't going to fall to me at 56, or one of my guys weren't going to fall to me at 56 and 62, which, now I, which I now own. I tried to move up. My offers were all rejected. I couldn't pull it off, but I got lucky. Sam Williams did fall to me in round two, number 56 overall. The Cowboys like this guy. So I snagged him because the Cowboys have made it very clear they are looking for another pass rusher. Now, the burst, the talent, the impact, it's all there for Sam Williams. He is a talent-wise top 50 guy for me, which I have plenty of value for. There are off-the-field issues you've got to trust, but it is not an accident that the Cowboys explored Sam Williams and Dan Quinn himself worked him out. That Dan Quinn was heavily involved with that workout at Ole Miss. That is, this is the Dan Quinn pick. He gets 
He gets one for me early on, and I made it Sam Williams. They want more juice, more burst off that edge. I think he is a good complement to Demarcus Lawrence if, once again, you feel good about the off-the-field concerns and red flags. Now, this video was filmed live on Cowboys Report After Hours on Rumble. So if you haven't already, follow us over there. Rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. I'll mix the links in both the comment section and in the description. All right, the next five picks here for the Cowboys, since it was my turn to pick. Tariq Woolen off the board. Okay, Dan Quinn would have loved him. Running back Rashad White. I'm using the PFN sim, by the way. Okay. Carson Strong, cool. The commander's got a bad QB. By Darian Mathis, I did miss out on Christian Watson. But I got Sky Moore. That's right, baby. Jeff Kavanaugh is happy. I got Sky Moore, who I, I don't think he gets there. But I am at the mercy of the draft sims. I can only take the players who were there. I can't cheat and rig it. So Sky Moore was there in round two. And I took him. He'd be a great fit for the Cowboys offense. He starts right away in the slot. I, would, I wouldn't hate if you're picked over round one if you move down and still take Alex Sky more. His production was incredible for Western Michigan. He has a very good release package at being able to get open. So I jumped all over it and said, yeah, I got myself another starting receiver. In the maybe more likely event, more is off the board, there were other guys. MyJ Sanders was there. Again, that's why I got nervous about moving up because I think there's a big gap between, uh, between Williams and, and Sanders and others this year. Two receivers who I'd be totally fine with in the second round, Alec Pierce and John Mechie. Two very different styles. Pierce is more of your outside vertical threat. Mechie is kind of more of your reliable, when healthy, third down guy in the end. So because I had the extra second round pick, I got both an edge and a receiver, top 62. Now who do you want to draft on day two? Let me know in the comments section which player or players you're angling to get. Now, I'm on the clock at pick 88, and the Buccaneers call. And they say, hey, Tom, we're going to offer you um, our pick 91 for your pick 88, and we will swap our fifth for your seventh next year. So to move down three spots, I'm getting to move up two rounds next year. Okay, I'll do it. Why not? Because guess what? The tight end I wanted, he was still there at 91. I still got Jelani Woods, who was going to be my pick at 88, because there were like eight tight ends on the board still. Woods is a very unique prospect. Um, I liken him to a giraffe loose on the football field. He's very tall and not that big. He's like a six seven, like offensive tackle size, but he's only like 255. Incredible athletic testing at the combine. He is still raw. I could see Woods going off the board earlier because of his freak athletic ability, but he's so like high-limbed and long. It, it, it looks weird when he runs, but the results are really impressive. He's very tough to bring down in the open field. His production exploded. Oklahoma State to begin his career as more of a blocker only, and he was eh, okay in that role. Much more involved as a pass catcher at Virginia, and this is why transferring makes a lot of sense. So I like that move a lot. Uh, if you can get him in the third round with the extra pick I've got, of course, for the Cowboys. Now I'm down to fourth round pick. Not anymore. I'm wheeling and dealing, and I'm taking two of my fifth rounders to go get a fourth round pick because I am smart, and I, I, I want to have that extra top 150 pick. I don't need four fifth rounders. What I need is another fourth round pick. So I tried like three different trades. The Niners finally said yes. I move up to get another fourth rounder, the one I dealt away to get an extra second round pick. Basically what, basically what I have done, by trading down five spots in round one, I have acquired a free second round pick. That's what I did. That's how cool it is, and that's how I like to wheel and deal, and I want to see Trader Jerry come back. Now, if you're a real Cowboys fan, I want you to type in S. And, and, and tell me if you're subscribed that way. I know that you're following us here on YouTube or on Rumble or wherever you are watching. Type in S in the comment section if you're subscribed and you are a real Cowboys fan. From Cole, Str or Cole Strange now is my pick in round four. Again, I am at the mercy of the draft sims. If you tell me Cole Strange goes top 75, I say, yeah, okay, that seems pretty 
Pretty, pr pretty realistic to me. But he's there, so I'm going to take him. This is a rare small school pick for the Cowboys. He would push or maybe beat out Tyler Biotish at the center spot. He could be in play for day two for teams. Small school guy. He's kind of played center and guard and all over it a little bit. I'm going to play him at center for my team. Good production. Again, it is Tennessee Ch 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 Chattanooga, so the numbers and grades, you would be concerned if they weren't awesome in terms of one sack allowed, one hit, three hurries, 86.4 PFF run grade. That's all very valuable for me in the end. So I, I think he's going to go a lot earlier, but I made it work. Don't blame me. I am at the mercy of the draft sims, and there will be a center or guard who falls to you. Maybe it's not Cole Strange, but it will be somebody. All right, round five, pick number 176. I still have two fifth-round picks left after all. Kellen Deesh out of Arizona State. He is a very tricky prospect to get a feel for. Huge height. He's like 6'7", but he's barely 300 pounds, and his arms are short. Very weird uh, combo there of tall, skinny, and short arms. That does not translate well to tackle. If he had good to above average length, he might be a top 50 pick. But because that length, which did give him problems, along with power issues at Arizona State, he could fall into day three. But the athletic traits are very appealing. He is worth betting on as maybe he's a swing tackle, maybe he's a bust. I want another tackle on this team. I'm finding one with some upside in day three with Kellen Deesh, who put up good production at Arizona State. Again, all these numbers per pro football focus, which is they do offensive line. So that's kind of the route I end up going. So again, I am limited by the draft sims, but I'm making it work. Now I want to know from you guys, what should the Cowboys draft focus on? Type in OFF for offense or DEF for defense. Sound off right now in the comments section. What do you think the Cowboys draft should focus on? Let me know in the comments. All right. Round five, pick number 178, JoJo Doman out of Nebraska here. He was really more of a nickel corner at Nebraska than like his role and where he lined up, which was super weird, by the way. But in the NFL, he'll be a weak side linebacker. I don't think he's going to be a true starter for you, but he definitely can be a special team key cog for you. Good production and, again, a very strange, very unusual role for uh, the Nebraska Cornuckers. He's picked number 178, round five overall. So I, I like getting Dome in here in terms of the, the situation he's at as it relates to the uh, Dallas Cowboys. And then round six, my other pick that I've got left here, Neil Farrell Jr., round six, number 193 overall. I am higher on Farrell than most people are. I don't see great pass rush impact but he did flash a little bit more of that role this past season. He's a good run stopper. He will compete with Quinton Bohanna. I liked him more than like Bohanna coming out. I find him here in the back end of round six. Worst case, one of those guys is my practice squad option for defensive tackle. I think Farrell could even beat out Bohanna. He's got a fourth, a high fourth round grade from me. I got him here in the sixth, but I know I'm higher on him than pretty much everyone else is. So grade this mock draft for me. It's an A. I crushed it. The draft sims are broken. I don't know what to tell you. But then again, if I had told you, hey, the Cowboys get CeeDee Lamb, Trayvon Diggs, and Neville Gallimore, first three picks in, in 2020, you'd have said, oh, you're crazy. Eh, weird, weird stuff happens, right? So grade the mock draft for me. A, B, C, D, or F. In case you missed it, the picks. Zion Johnson, Sam Williams, Sky Moore, Jelani Woods, Cole Strange, Kellen Deesh, JoJo Damon, and Neil Farrell in rounds one, two, two, three, four, five, five, and six. Eight picks, and I crushed it.